Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will discuss about other psychiatric topic that is organic brain syndrome or neurocognitive disorder. Organic brain syndrome or neurocognitive disorders are a group of disorder characterized by disturbances in your thinking, perception, attention and memory. According to American classification of disorder, American Psychiatric Association's classification of disorder, we can see seven categories of organic brain syndrome or seven clusters of organic brain syndrome. They are delirium, dementia, amnestic syndrome, organic delusional syndrome, organic hallucinations, organic affective syndrome, and organic personality syndrome so we will see one by one first is delirium it is characterized by confused thinking and lack of awareness about the surrounding sometimes the patient will also show behavioral problems and emotional problems and it begins over few hours or days so the onset is very rapid and sometimes all the symptoms will disappear for few days and again the symptoms will come back so this is delirium so confusion and lack of awareness about the surrounding where you are staying that is delirium second thing is dementia if someone is saying about dementia one point will always will come to our mind that is loss of memory so what does dementia means it's nothing but loss of memory but if we describe in a detailed way we can say it describe as a group of symptoms which affect your memory thinking and social ability Next thing is amnestic syndrome. Amnestic syndrome is characterized by loss of memory, especially you will forget the events, experiences and informations, what you have learned and what you have uh, listened. Okay. And uh, amnestic people cannot able to do any kind of learning purposes or learning processes because they will easily forget what they are learning. So that is amnesia or amnestic syndrome. Next is organic hallucination syndrome. Organic hallucination syndrome means it is characterized by hallucination of taste, smell, touch, vision and hearing. That means they will feel something which you cannot feel. They, can, they will smell something which, which you cannot smell. They will taste something which you cannot taste. Apart from that, the patient will show acquired intellectual impairment and impaired sensorium. Next is organic affective syndrome. It is characterized by disturbances in the mood, depression, problems and sadness. So here you can see problems in the mood, especially the patient will go to a stage of depression and sadness. Next is organic personality syndrome. It is characterized by problems in your behavior, but the problems in the behavior is associated with impairment of nerve cells. It is not because of the outside problems. It is not because of the stress. It is because of the impairment of the nerve cells, damage of the nerve cells brain injury so that is organic personality syndrome so these are all the type of organic brain syndrome or neurocognitive syndrome next is causes main causes damage to your nerve system brain injuries infections then impairment of the nerve functions then exposure to the toxic substance abnormal changes associated with aging normally changes will occur as a result of aging but abnormal changes are coming means that may lead to organic brain syndrome then thyroid problems and vitamin deficiency minute vitamin deficiency is not a reason guys severe vitamin deficiency specific vitamins which is necessary for the functioning of the nerves okay these are all the major causes of organic brain syndrome Next is symptom. The major symptoms are confusion, agitation, irritability, loss of memory, difficulty in performing daily activities, impaired brain function and cognitive disability. So in the previous slides, you have seen the symptoms almost. Okay, problems in your memory, problems in your thinking, problems in your perception and problems in your cognitive function. So that are all the symptoms of this condition. Then while coming to the diagnostic procedure, history collection, mental status examination, physical examination, neurological examination and at the same time you need to do MRI, magnetic resonance image to understand the brain damage, brain function, nerve function, then postron emission tomography. So this postron emission tomography is using to find damaged areas in the brain and cerebrospinous fluid markers to look for the signs of infection. So any bacterial infection or encephalitis is there means through cerebrospinal fluid markers you can find out that. Here the problem is nerve damage and nerve damage is occurring due to any kind of injury. So in diagnostic procedure we need to do MRIs, this PET, cerebrospinal final fluid markers etc along with this history collection mental status examination and neurological examination
Next is treatment. Treatment, what type of treatment we can give for this condition? Means there is no specific treatment because uh, there are a lot of symptoms or symptoms or syndromes or signs we can say in this condition. So depend upon the type of condition, depend upon the situation of the patient, uh, the uh, doctor will uh, go for treatment. And uh, what are all the common things? Means medications, then rehabilitation, supportive care, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, psychological support, etc. These are all the uh, just general uh, treatment modalities I have told you. But there are a lot of treatment modalities, but we cannot say what is the actual treatment modality. It's all depend upon the type of uh, so organic brain syndrome because I told you seven clusters of organic brain syndromes are there for seven clusters seven type of symptoms but the basic problem is uh, disturbances of cognitive function only but the symptoms will appear in different way and the root cause of the problem either it is because of nerve damage either it is because of or it is because of any kind of injury or any kind of infection or any other problem that we need to find out apart from that, uh, uh, what type of uh, treatment is always depend upon the type of condition. Okay, guys. So, this is our organic brain syndrome. So, that's all. Okay. Hope you understand, guys. Thank you.